Uh, what is soil health? What is it? What is meant when we use that term? Yeah, it's it's kind of a squishy term, but I, I think the way to look at it is that a healthy soil has a high population of living organisms, and it's it's everything. It's you know, it's mice, it's plants, it's microbes, it's bacteria, it's fungi, all those things that live in soil. And by the way, there, there are more species in soil than there are anywhere else in the world. We just don't see them. You know, we can name a few of them in general terms, but we really don't understand what's in soil. But the more life that's in soil, the healthier it becomes. And largely because these things are continually being cycled around, right? There's life, there's death, things die, they decompose, the decomposition releases nutrients, other things come along and use those nutrients, one of which is plants. But a lot of the other things that are living there also use those nutrients. You know, earthworms come along and they eat some organic matter, They're, they need those nutrients. Bacteria can't live without those nutrients. So the more life we get in there, the healthier that soil is. And what we do know is that when soil has a lot of things living in it, plants grow better. Those two go hand in hand. When that soil life comes down, plants suffer. Right. Right. So those two are very closely tied. So as gardeners, what we're really doing is farming microbes and earthworms and insects. And, yes. and if we create those, the plants come along on their own. We don't have to worry about the plants. Right. But if we don't do that in soil, we have trouble growing plants. Right? Yes. And then we have to do all kinds of silly things like buying commercial fertilizer and, and all kinds of stuff to, to make those plants grow big enough. Yeah, yeah. But if we take care of the, the ecosystem in the soil, all those living things, uh, the plants are automatic. In fact, then our problem is they grow too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're, you know, in, in essence, you're saying that uh, the healthy soil is soil that supports uh, a broad range of living things uh, existing in it, right? Yeah. Like it's an ecosystem. It, it uh, is very much an ecosystem. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's that makes sense to me. Um, now, I guess it follows from that question, because people say this a lot, the soil is a living thing, the soil is alive. And I know you're a scientist, so you probably have a problem with that statement. So yes, is the soil alive? Uh, no, it isn't. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, it, this is perhaps a bit of a personal beef I have, but you know, all these terms in science have definitions. And if you yes. go and look at the definition of soil, it does not include any of the living organisms. Yeah. It's dead organic matter, that humus stuff. It's sand, silt, and clay, and water, and air, and that's it. There are no living organisms in the definition of soil. Now, why is that a big deal? Well, the problem is a lot of people say soil is living, and as soon as soil is living, they treat it like a living organism and come up with all kinds of stupid things they should do to the soil. <laughs> and, yes. and that's why I'm against that term. It's, it's not a huge thing. Now, there is something called the soil ecosystem. Yes. Okay? The soil environment. And that certainly exists. So now we're looking at everything we walk on, anything that's under there, including all the living organisms, the plants and everything else. And there is certainly an ecosystem like that, but the soil itself isn't living. The, uh, the analogy here I use is, is this. Uh, we know that in the air that we're breathing, we're walking around and the dog ran across the air and the air is full of uh, fungi spores and bacteria and everything else all floating around in the air. But nobody goes around talking about air as being living, right? It's, it's, it's dead stuff and there's these living organisms in it. In it. Right? And soil is exactly the same thing. The actual soil part is, is dead and stuff lives in soil, right? right. So we're not never feeding soil. We, we might feed the organisms that are living there, but we're not feeding soil. Yeah, I think it's, I think it, it, it's, it's very possible that, that some gardening protagonists or gurus Perhaps they use it as a shorthand. They'll say, "Feed the soil. The soil is alive," and they're they're just 
they're they're using that as a shorthand or maybe as a metaphor. Um, but uh, I try in my videos to say feed the organisms in the soil, yeah. right? That's sort of the soil system. Try right? to use that language, and of course, it adds words and makes things sound more complicated. We're always trying to simplify. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's the organisms in the soil, all of them, that you're feeding, and then they're they're something's going in one end, something's coming out the other end, and uh, and the plants are benefiting from that whole process, yeah. right? So uh, yeah.